Hi everybody. This is a video response to the young mother of an autistic child who took to social media to attack Steve Harvey. That's that's the gist of it. That's that's what it seemed like to me. Um she said she recorded her message at least four times because it was laced with curse words. I personally feel like it was laced with sarcasm and she didn't report anything at all with, I don't know, none of the facts were given for the longest time. Like the first 44 seconds is just her trying to influence you to be on her side, I feel. And... I was almost turned off by that. If you're going to report something, try and be objective about it. And then you see what other people have to say. If what you're truly saying is right, more people than not will be on your side. Um, that being said, who am I to even respond to what she said? And I don't know if it was one of my friends trying to get something started. But for those of you who know me and those who don't, I personally am a mother of a differently abled child. I don't use the word disabled at all in my household. And so I read, well, I read the comments and I watched her video at least twice. And what she did, what you did, ma'am, didn't help us at all. All you did was get people who didn't even know each other, strangers, people who have people with disabilities in their immediate reach and then those who don't, you got people arguing. What you did was more negative than positive. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's just commentary. Nothing changes. You didn't get any laws enacted, no bills were written, no city ordinance were imposed. I feel like you are more so projecting about your own inabilities or incapability to deal with your daughter's diagnosis. I feel as though it was a complete waste of time. Sure, you got people to click and I'm sure your video has been shared, but when people stop clicking, and they will, and they stop sharing, what's going to happen? No one's going to care more about your child with autism than they did before your video was posted. Um, I hope that doesn't sound heartless, but like I said, I'm a mother of a child with different abilities. And if anything, I want the world to change. Social media is not the platform for change. It's more so for gossip and news, and sometimes the news isn't even real. Um... I was just, the way you went in on Steve Harvey, and let me also say this, uh, my son and I have actually met Steve Harvey, and we spent time with him, and by no means do, do I post this to somehow have his back, because he doesn't need anybody to defend him, but Steve Harvey never at any time disrespected me my son or our life i received nothing but the utmost respect from him his staff and his daughter brandy who's also worked with children with disabilities but you didn't talk about that you talked about steve harvey the most and you mentioned ricky smiley and other comedians lady let, let me let you know right now you don't get to decide what's funny if you could write Steve Harvey's material, if you were creative enough to do so, you would be a famous comedian yourself. So please don't sit there and go off on your phone like you've accomplished something. What you should have done was drive to work, call your best friend on your lunch break, and tell her how your morning went. Don't try to get mad at somebody else for how they make their money or what platform they use to do so. 
I was like so I didn't know what to do with what you've done because it it don't make sense. You got people calling you out your name, not even pushing the 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 real issue here. The world needs to change. You need to get some help, either some community help, some family help, some psychiatric help, and I don't mean to say that you're crazy. I mean that you need a better support system to deal with your child's disability. You are projecting. I, I'm sorry your child had autism. I'm sorry to what level she has it. But you need to deal with that. You need to be stronger and deal with that. Um, I'm not trying to attack you. I think, if I'm not mistaken, your frustration for passion about improving things um i'm willing to work with you i am willing to partner with you on something that does something for real that's gonna open the eyes of people and educate people not tear people down um i don't i don't know what you thought you were doing by posting that that was more like you needed a breather you just needed somebody to hear you what was you accomplishing? Did you think you was going to be on Ellen or something with that? I mean, nothing has changed. At the end of the day, when they stop posting that, nothing has changed. You did nothing to help my son or any adult with a disability. People who are born differently abled or those who become disabled later in life, they don't want your pity. They don't want you to treat them any differently. And for your information, um, comedians' jobs are to make us laugh. And they don't always make us laugh in the good times. They make us laugh when things are not so good. And they talk about everybody. So what you need to do is look up um, comedians with disabilities um, by the name of Michael Ronan and uh, James Corbin the third, and Josh Blue. Just to educate yourself. Oh my God, lady, you, you didn't help. That's my whole point. You didn't help. I don't give a damn what you say. I don't care what people post about me talking to you like this. It didn't help. So, wow. I mean, there, there's got to be more. This was not the way to get the conversation started. Um, people with different disabilities and different abilities have not just appeared on this earth but the world at large acts like they have and people aren't affected until it's someone that they know is touched by something i don't think steve harvey was making fun of that 34 year old woman who was dressed in bobby socks and an easter dress i believe if anything he was poking more fun at the grown-ass adult who dressed her up like that? I mean, that's the real problem. So, lady, if you don't like to see homosexuals kissing, turn your head. If you don't like the way an old person smells, leave the room. If you don't like what a comedian says because you're being sensitive and all in your feelings... And you know where the conversation is going. Turn your channel. And come back later. Oh my God you didn't help. I'm calm down. But like I said. um, Get at me. I'm here. I'm working with my son. Who is magnificent by the way. Is our life easy? Hell no. But it's how you react to it. It's how you move on and go through life. Your daughter will be whatever you impart into her. Whatever you allow to expose her to. So if your daughter, God willing, she won't. But if your daughter ends up being one of those 34-year-old women in bobby socks... And little Easter dresses, instead of dressing appropriately, it will be your fault. No one else's.
It's not going to be a comedian. Learn to direct where the real.